Doctor, let's start by talking about omega-3s. We hear a lot about them. Why are they so important to our health? Right, so uh, they're called essential uh, fatty acids. It's something that uh, our brain is built out of. We need it for mental health, we need it for cardiac, we need it for anti-inflammatory. And uh, the sad part of it, our body cannot produce it. So we have to have it for an external source. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, if you look around, where can you find omega-3s? Uh, marine animals is um, a source that comes to mind. So the main idea was, let's grab, grab some fish, squeeze them, and take the omega-3 out of them, which sounded like a great idea. But uh, I think it brings two legitimate questions. One is, um, how sustainable is this exercise, mm -hmm. okay? Um, you're, you're hurting a, an, an ecosystem that's already hurt from pollution and, and overfishing, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the second question that comes to mind, if you look at the demand curve for omega-3s and the population of marine animals kind of decreasing, there's a mismatch there. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I really do believe that we are in this conversion stage that happened to us as humans when we went from farmers, ga from, from hunters gatherers to farmers, right? Why, why do you want to do this? Because you want to secure your sources, right? So I think we're at the point, at the point in which the omega-3 field is actually looking for alternatives, mm -hmm. sustainable and controlled alternatives to squeezing the fish. And what are some of those? Uh, we okay. always think of the, uh, the salmon, the krill, right. cod liver oil, but is there right. options? Yes, yeah, so I have some uh, shocking news to you. Uh, fish and krill and squid, whatever, uh, all the marine animals on the list do not produce omega-3s. Omega-3s are produced by algae in the oceans, and they're only accumulating in the oil uh, tissues of the marine animals. So the source of omega-3s is algae. That's a natural source of omega-3s. Now, sometimes in life, middleman creates value. Think about a cow creating a cup of milk. You'd rather drink a cup of milk than chewing a pile of grass, right? So the middle cow created value. In the case of omega-3s, the middle fish decreases the value that you find in the original omega, and decreases the value in several ways. One fish are not particular in which algae they're eating. They're eating a bunch of algae. They're eating DHA-producing algae and EPA-producing algae. So fish oil has a blend. Is blend what you need? Well, some people think that for young children, and for adults, you need different omega-3s. Mm -hmm. Okay? The second thing is just the same way that they accumulate uh, omega-3s in their oil tissues, they accumulate other things. PCBs, mercuries, drugs, whatever floats in the ocean. So the source of omega-3 from animals is questionable. You need to put a lot of effort to clean it up to a level that you can feed it to people, okay? And um, you know, the, the other dimension is that sometimes the, the omega-3s in algaes are, uh, the molecular form is highly bioavailable. It's a polar lipid form that's highly bioavailable because you need, whatever you eat needs to cross two barriers from your digestion system to the blood and from the blood to your organs. So this rate of moving through the barrier is very important for how much actually the body gains from eating omega-3s. Mm -hmm. And most of the omega-3s you find in fish are in a lower bioavailability form. So basically you're decreasing the, the bioavailability that's naturally in the algae. So to summarize it, I think in this case of omega-3s, the middle fish do not create any value. Uh, it's just easy to grab them and squeeze them, but really, why do you want to eat it uh, second, third, fourth hand mm -hmm. if you actually get it from the source? Mm 